So my name's Saffron Swansborough and I teach on the UAL Creative Media Production courses level two and level three. And my subject specialism is I teach journalism and research techniques and critical perspectives. Um, and my background is I'm a broadcast journalist. So I worked um, for 10 years in radio journalism as a producer and a news bulletin reader. And I was a reporter in the field for companies including the BBC and Sky News. We expect our students to be really um, excited about working in media production because if our students are um, motivated, then that's gonna help them to learn and be focused. Uh, we would like them to be open-minded because we're teaching the students lots and lots of different um, subjects and skills. And of course, they're gonna gravitate to some of the things that they prefer, but what we would like them to do is be open-minded, give everything a try, um, and then the students will get an opportunity to specialise in the area that they prefer um, a little bit later on in the course. So in our first year for level three, uh, we're teaching the students all the different production skills and soft skills that they're gonna to need to be able to succeed um, working in the media industry. So they're gonna be learning lots of different technical skills, learning different software, learning their planning, pre-production, research skills, um, communication skills. Um, and one of my areas is critical uh, perspective. So they're gonna be sort of understanding some of the sort of fundamentals between, between genre, narrative, semiotic, study of signs, and um, gender representation, or, or even sort of um, more widely speaking, general sort of representation of different groups. Um, and then in the second year, we let the students loose on the live projects. Um, so we don't make um, projects that go into a teacher's drawer. We make projects that are seen by 20,000 readers is our, our magazine circulation. Um, we also make, um, we also get our students to produce a radio station for three days and two nights, which is carried under an Ofcom license. I'm also also teaching our second years how to um, write um, sort of quite a, a large volume of stories for uh, magazines uh, because we're going to turn those into features for our tag magazine which is going to go online for the first time this year. Um, I'm also teaching our students sort of some critical thinking skills so they have to critically reflect on their work because that's something that when you're working in the industry is really important you know you don't just make a product and then hope it was okay and maybe crit it afterwards. Um, you might, whilst you're actually making the production, think about um, what skills am I gaining? What do I need to develop? How am I going to get a bit more multi-skilled? Um, what's going wrong? How am I going to sort it out? So those are the sorts of skills and resilience is really important in our students. Um, we're really supportive, but also we do expect quite a lot from our students. So we expect them to be hardworking, dedicated, um, uh, quite good at working with other people that they don't know, working outside their comfort zone. So it's just very much like working in the media industry itself. Jason Hollis, I teach on the Creative Media Production and Technology course. Before this, I've worked on certain things, mainly outside of broadcasting, that's kind of my speciality, so live TV. Also some studio stuff as well, so things like Wimbledon, also The One Show. For the students, they have access to the Adobe Suite. When they come to do video editing, which is my kind of my specialty, they use Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. The college does also have Adobe Suite for audio editing, so they use Adobe Audition. Also for some graphic design stuff, you use InDesign and Photoshop. Equipment-wise, so students can come to me, I am the technician, they can book out different bits of equipment, so they can book out some DSLR cameras ranging from Nikons, Canons and Sonys. We also have some Blackmagic TV studio equipment, some Canon TV equipment, we have a range of tripods, lighting and coloured gels for the lights as well. We also have a designated photography and TV studio. Alongside video production, students also have to use some graphic design skills. Graphic design kind of relates directly with video production because they have to use their creative eye. So with graphic design, they will do some web designing, learn how to design some magazines. They'll use InDesign to do their layout, so actually composing their magazines but using Photoshop maybe to cut out their images that they've taken down in the photography studio or out shooting on location. I'm Marcus Abel and I've been a lecturer here for, for quite a long time. I generally teach sound, but I can teach journalism, I can teach a little bit of everything actually. I think a lot of uh, courses around and you know throughout the country, they do centre much more on film. It tends to be maybe seen as the most glamorous aspect. However, I think for, for working in the media industry, you know, the film industry in this country is not particularly big when compared to the, you know, the media industry as a whole. And equally, I think if you're only going to a college and just largely being taught that around one format or just around film, you're missing out 
on all, you know, on other skills, but also on other, you know, abilities that you may have. We have plenty of people who turn up and say they want to be film directors, but actually leave wanting to be Foley artists, or wanting to be journalists, or want to be graphic designers. So by trying all of those different things, people find, new, you know, new skills and things that they are good at. And so that often changes what they might want to do at, a, at, at university or, you know, how they see their future career. So, um, you know, from that point of view, I think we have a really balanced course. I think it's important as well because, you know, me media professionals do work across the different fields. You know, lot, plenty of people work in radio, in television, in film and write columns for newspapers, etc. So being able to, to work in all, all forms of the media is a really useful thing. <laughs>